colleagues and fans alike are mourning Len Goodman, who long served as head judge on both Dancing with the Stars and Strictly Come Dancing. He's being remembered with tens across the board. Goodman's manager, Jackie Gill, said in a statement to the BBC, It is with great sadness to announce that Len Goodman has passed away peacefully aged 78, a much-loved husband, father, and grandfather who will be sorely missed by family, friends, and all who knew him. Goodman died in hospice care on April 22nd, having been previously diagnosed with bone cancer. Numerous fans and colleagues have paid tribute to the Dancing with the Stars judge on social media. In a heartwarming Instagram post, Strictly Come Dancing judge Craig Revel Horwood remembered Goodman's catchphrase and the memorable way he said the number seven, writing, My heart and love go out to his lovely wife Sue and family. Len Goody Goodman is what I called him, and it's a 10 from Len, and Sevan will live with me forever. Rest in peace, Len. Seven! Strictly Come Dancing presenter Tess Daly wrote of Goodman, A beautiful man, genuine, warm, and humble, who left an impression on everyone he met. You are never a 7 for me, Len. You are always a 10. Goodman is survived by his wife, Sue Barrett, whom he married in 2012. He also leaves behind his son, James William Goodman, from a previous relationship. Though he left a lasting legacy in the entertainment industry, Len Goodman did not start out with a passion for dance. When he was 19, Goodman suffered a foot injury that healed a little too slowly. To hasten his healing process, doctors recommended he take up ballroom dancing classes. Though he was initially resistant to the idea, Goodman soon had a change of heart, telling The Guardian in a 2006 interview, I really didn't want to go. I kicked up a right fuss. But once I'd been for a couple of weeks, I really loved it. Goodman would later make a career of the surprise hobby, winning several competitions, including the British Championships. In 2004, when Goodman assumed his role as head judge on BBC's Strictly Come Dancing, he entered the limelight beyond the world of dance. After 12 years, the veteran dance coach announced he was leaving the show, a move he once admitted came with some hesitation in an appearance on Lorraine Kelly's talk show, saying, there's always a twang of regret. But he added, You know, there comes a time when you think, well, I did it for 12 years. Goodman also served as head judge on Dancing with the Stars for 17 years before announcing his retirement in 2022. He said at the time, I've decided I'd like to spend more time with my grandchildren and family back in Britain. Goodman's death came as a shock to fans, but the veteran dance coach might just have seen it coming. In a December 2022 interview with the Daily Mail, Goodman explained that he expected to die in 2023 at 79, the same age his late father died. My dad had the right idea. He loved gardening, and he had a stroke while he was out in the garden. He was 79, so if I go the way of my dad, that'll be next year. Though he never publicly opened up about his bone cancer diagnosis, this was not Goodman's first experience with cancer. In July 2009, Goodman revealed he underwent surgery following a prostate cancer diagnosis three months prior. At the time of his diagnosis, the veteran dance coach was in the middle of filming Strictly Come Dancing, leading him to stall treatment for a while. He told the Daily Mail, It takes a few weeks to get everything set up for the operation anyway, so I went ahead and did the show. In 2021, Goodman once again revealed that he had been diagnosed with the skin condition melasma the previous year and had undergone surgery to have it removed from his face. He told Good Morning Britain, It was good that it was what it was because it was like a little early warning, which was good because I would have probably carried on in my own sweet way and it could have become something far worse.